this is the wardrobe village of the show. So this is where all the magic happens, um, what you don't get to see. Um, all the ensemble members um, come back here to do all their changes, uh, as most of them are very quick, but they have such a sheer volume of costumes that it's um, a bit crazy to not have it all in one place, and then they know where to come, and then that's where the dressers know where to come, and it just makes it all a bit easier. So this is the girls' section here, this is the girls' side, and they have um, all their Ritz hats, which is the opening number, and their top hats for the end of Act 1. All, all there and then all the costumes are just divided into each person's set of stuff of what they need for the for the show um, so they start off with their this is their opening number which is a um, which is called Ritz um, which is a one piece for the girls jacket and skirt attached and then they go into um, London this is one of the many London gowns that we have, um, day wear, and then all the girls have these fabulous sparkly numbers, which are the What Is Love Corrines, Chorus Girls, and then they go into Top Hat, which is the classic Top Hat and Tail, can't go wrong with that, and then they all play different little roles in the... Um, in the opening of Act 2 for the Piccolino and Sophie, in this instance, she's a little bather. <laughs> so she's got a little bathing outfit which um, is true to the period as it's made from wool, um, which would not have been very nice to have been swimming in wool in that time, but that's what they did. And then um, she goes into her evening gown, which hers one is this one, which is a um, um, based on original 1930s fashion of the time. Um, John Morell, our designer, spent a long time researching every single outfit and design and then made his own twist of colours, fabrics and all that sort of, those design decisions, shoes, hair, all that sort of stuff. 